Hi again. We're going to now talk about electrical power. We're going to start by introducing this concept of unwanted resistance. Well, like we sometimes don't want friction in the mechanical world, we sometimes don't want resistance in the uh, electrical world. And this is true like within our wires. We'd really like it if our the wires that connect the things and circuit traces didn't uh, have any resistance in them, but unfortunately they do. Well, so let's talk about unwanted resistance. What is that? What do I mean? Well, not even a, a wire is perfect. Uh, so if you had a really good quality copper wire, it still has some resistance to it. So no such thing as a perfect conductor. There are things called superconductors, and it would be great if we could uh, use them and uh, have a you know, computer that it uses superconductors because these uh, in this state these have no electrical resistance, no resistance to the flow of ch uh, charge or current. Um, but uh, the, the ones that we know about require temperatures colder than what's really practical and so they uh, tend to be expensive and uh, relegated to esoteric type applications um, in you know, university settings and such instead of your desktop. So we just have to deal with it, deal with some resistance. So we're going to talk about power dissipation. This leads us into power dissipation. Well, granted, some devices we want to get well, have power dissipation. We want to have some resistance. Um, for example, toasters. You wouldn't want a superconducting toaster, for example. It's just you, you want resistance because it's the resistance that causes the heat. Likewise, a hair dryer or you know the the heater that you plug in and keep it under your desk to keep your feet warm in the winter. Uh, some devices devices we do not want to get hot, but uh, hey, they do. Um, computer chips. I mean, there's fans in your computer. In fact, uh, there has been for some years now. They put a fan directly on the processor. Uh, they just got to get that heat out. And, uh, you know that's. They've got gold contacts and such inside that uh, that chip, but still, uh, even gold has some resistance to it. And there's so much current flowing around in uh, in such a small space; it's very uh, high current density, and so it generates a lot of a lot of heat, even though the individual currents are small. Um, power supplies in, in your computer, and even you know at substations out, uh, you know by the by the airport road and by the um, uh, highway, you have uh, transformers that uh, get hot and can explode sometime. It's not a good situation. Um, so if this is the case, we do have to deal with it, and we deal with that by designing circuits to dissipate power and not using them past uh, a certain rating so that they have a uh, reasonable lifetime. So let's talk about that. We don't want an early failure. An example of an early failure, here's a, a picture. You can see this. Uh, this was a resistor right here, R11. Uh, it's totally toasted. Why that is toasted, I don't know, but this is fairly obvious evidence here that this is a device that failed. Now, whether or not that was a bad design or not, or some you know, external you know, problem, maybe somebody opened the device and was messing around with it, don't know. But anyway, so... This is an example of uh, excess power dissipation. So how do you go about calculating that if we're going to do it, make a design uh, for a circuit that's safe and uh, long-lived, we want to be able to calculate the power. Well, power equals current times voltage, and that deserves a box. The units of power, well, current is amps, volts is volts, so amp volt or volt amp it's usually called is also called a watt named after James Watt and if you can there's other forms of this equation if you employ Ohm's law well here um, V equals IR so if we replace V here with IR we get I times I times R which would be I squared R or if we replace I with V over R we would get V squared over R as alternate forms. These are all equivalent and you can use any one. So these are just uh, other convenient forms of the same equation. Here are some examples of some problems. And I will uh, let you work this out. You can read it and uh, the answers will be coming up shortly so we can pause your video.
pause it now. Okay, here comes the answer. 1.4 kilowatt. Here's another problem. And I'll let you read that if you pause your video now, please. Okay, and uh, here's the answer to this second problem. And you might have a question on this in class. But, uh, go, please ask if you do. If you got it, great. Okay, I'm just going to peek ahead here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, stop here. So we're going to stop here. This is the uh, concludes the screencast on, on power. Okay, bye.